Hi, my name is Eric Foreman. I'm the intern at the Food Network Kitchen, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make compound butter. So the first thing we wanna do is wash the herbs. Um, what it's gonna do is it's just gonna get rid of the dirt, the grit. So you wanna let that subside to the bottom. Uh, and once very clean, then you just pull it out, bring it over to a napkin, spread it out, and dry it well. So with the parsley, you just wanna pick the stems. We're gonna chop those up very finely. All right, so we're gonna set those off to the side. Um, one of the good techniques that I like to use, you just, just hold the knife, hand over the back, you just go choppy. You can bunch up the parsley together to just make sure you got a nice cut and just go at it. And now we're gonna chop the garlic. Um, specifically, the cut that you want is just the mince cut. So we're gonna add a full chunk of parsley, that nice and green. We're gonna add all the garlic. And then the thing about the thyme, you just wanna slide it down. It's nice and easy, slide it down. As you can see, we have the compound butter ready with our ingredients, the garlic, the parsley, the thyme. Um, just a, a friendly notice is that the butter that we did use is um, unsalted. And the reason is, is because we wanna be in control of the salt. Um, so we do have some salt reserve, and you wanna just be able to sprinkle that in as much as you want. Maybe you want it salty, maybe you don't want it salty. Uh, I also didn't put all the parsley in as well, and the reason is is because, for me personally, like I just don't like a lot of parsley um, in my compound butter. But if you do like it real earthy and you want a lot of those herbs in there, you add as much as you want. Same thing with the thyme. If you want more thyme and you want that flavor to really be out there, then you add more thyme. So now we're just gonna sprinkle the compound butter with a little bit of salt. I add like a pinch or two. You really just want that flavor to come out and we're adding a little bit of crushed black pepper. Love me some pepper nose. It's like the best thing. Uh, and then we're just gonna grab a rubber spatula and then just get the work. All right, you just, you just wanna work it until it's, it's pretty soft, you don't want to melt it. So you, you just want to work it until it's soft enough and then put it in a position where you can just roll it out. So now we're going to get the rolling of the butter. Um, sometimes for me, it's the most challenging part. So you just want to spread it out, drop the, the butter right in the center, and you sort of want to just shape it to some degree. So you want to fold one side. So if you're throwing this on top of a, a filet mignon or a steak or a skirt steak, whatever it is, um, it's all uniform, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too pleased with this, this butter. I told you guys that it was my biggest challenge. Um, so I'm gonna do it over. Um, I'm gonna do it the right way. Um, so you guys at home can sort of just get a little familiar and just work it out. Cause you will get fat chunky butters like this and it works. It's still the same flavor, still the same results, but um, just a different size. And for me, I just want a different size. Tighten that. And then we're just gonna roll it like, like a nice little wheel. Just let it flow by itself. That's a beautiful compound butter right there. I like that. So we want to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Um, that's when we'll get a nice solid block of butter. All right, let's talk about the variations that you can create with compound butter. Um, the options are somewhat endless, so you can go any way you, you want. So we have some ginger, we have basil, we have cilantro, we have coriander seeds, we have some jalapenos, and we also have some lime zest. I will use these variations maybe in, on like a grilled pork chop, maybe some wings, or some grilled wings, I'll throw some wings on there too. Um, then you also, on this side, you have the smoked paprika, you also have some chopped chives. Um, for me, I would probably put it on a, like a skirt steak. Um, you can go honey, uh, you can add shallots and lime zest or lemon zest and put it on a fish. Compound butter, you can use, as we said, just whatever's in your fridge and just work with it, create it, put it together, refrigerate it, and throw it on something. So 